chanter tonight? Yes, sir. And are you originally from this area? Well, that's a long story. I was born in New York. Oh, okay. I've lived in a number of places. So where were you born in New York? Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh.
know, some places in Malaysia, it's like, it's really hard to put a visa on that point. But if I just post it on YouTube and post a link, that, that doesn't happen. So it's all, so I sort of do that on the internet as well. Mm -hmm. It's too much of a hassle. Mm -hmm. So the box on Facebook, right? You don't have to do all your stuff. Quite. <laughs> Quite. Yeah, and I, 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 you know, this happened several times, and of course you dispute it, and then and you can send a message. So, okay, please indicate the things that could works and you know mm -hmm. we'll be very careful but what we're dealing with what the problem is but then we can get into that and then just just release the you know the, the hold on it mm -hmm. so yeah it's just like too much of a hassle mm -hmm. hello I'm not serving on Jim. I'll find that you'll be serving on But it's deeper than the If you wanted to, I could change the song. Do you want to do the pause one or just change it? No, it's okay. Wait until I get through like one line of it and then read slowly. All right, we'll do it. We'll do it right now. I have the text right here. Oh, yeah, my. I have it here too. I'll do uh, after the food investors. Yep. I'll do the general investors sure. because it's every year. Jim's going to be singing after singing. Blessed is our God always, now and ever, unto the ages of ages. Amen. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Thou hast clothed thyself 
who covers thyself with light as with a garment, who stretches out the heavens like a skin, who covers his upper chambers with waters, who appoints the clouds for his ascent, who walketh upon the wings of the winds, who maketh his angel spirits and his ministers of fiery flame, who establisheth the earth upon its sure foundation, it shall not be moved forever and ever. The deep like the road is its garment, upon the mountains shall the water stand, at thy rebuke they will flee, at the voice of thy thunder shall they be afraid. The mountains rise up and the plains sink down, unto the place which thou hast passed for them. Thou hast set a bound which the seas shall not pass, nor shall they return to cover the earth. Who sendeth forth springs in the valleys, between the mountains shall the waters flow. They shall give drink to all the beasts of the field. The wild donkeys shall partake of them to quench their thirst. Beside them shall the burdens of heaven have their habitation. From the midst of the rocks their voices shall resound. Who watereth the mountains from his upper chambers. With the fruit of thy work shall the earth be satisfied. Who causeth the grass to grow for the cattle and herbs for the service of man. To bring forth bread out of the earth. And wine makes glad the heart of man, as also to anoint his face with oil. And bread strengthens man's heart. The trees of the plain shall be full of sap, even the cedars of Lebanon which thou hast planted. There shall the sparrows make their nests. The abode of the stork is foremost among them. The high mountains are a refuge for the wild goats, and the rocks for the hare. He has made the moon for the season. The sun knows it's time for setting. Thou hast appointed darkness, and there was night, wherein all the beasts of the forest shall move forth, young lions roaring after their prey and seeking their food from God. The sun rises, and they are gathered together, and they lie down in their dens. But man shall go forth into his work, and to his labor until the evening. How magnified are their works, O Lord, in wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is filled with thy creation, so too this sea great and wide. There are creeping things innumerable, living things both small and great. There the ships go about, and this dragon which thou hast fashioned to play therein. All things wait on thee to give them their food in due season. When thou givest it unto them, they shall gather it. When thou openest thy hand, all things shall be filled with good. When thou turnest away thy face, they shall be troubled. Thou shalt take away their breath, and they shall die, and unto their dust shall they return. Thou shalt send forth thy spirit, and they shall be created. And thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let the glory of the Lord endure forever, and the Lord shall rejoice in his works. Who look upon the earth, and maketh it tremble. Who toucheth the mountains, and they smoke. I will sing unto the Lord throughout my life. I will sing unto my God as long as I have been. Let my words be pleasing unto him, and I will rejoice in the Lord. Let sinners vanish from the earth and transgressors, that there be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. The sun knows his time for setting. Thou hast appointed darkness, and there was night. How magnified are their works, O Lord. In wisdom hast thou made them all.
let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from God, for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Thank you. 
Let's before the dread judgment seat of Christ let us ask. Blessed and glorious in the world, give her God your first name of the whole sins. Let us offer ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. For you are a good God and love mankind. Do you send up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and to the ages of ages? Amen. Peace be to all. And to the Spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. Blessed and glorified be the dominion of your kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. The sun was darkened by your passion, passion, O Christ. <coughs> the sun was darkened by your passion, O Christ. But all creation was enlightened by the light of your resurrection, except our evening song, O lover of man. Let God arise, let his enemies be scattered, let those who hate him flee from before his face. Today a sacred past is revealed to us, a new and holy past a mystical Pascha, a Pascha worthy of veneration, a Pascha which is Christ the Redeemer, a blameless Pascha, a great Pascha, a Pascha of the faithful, a Pascha which is open to us the gates of paradise, a Pascha which sanctifies all the faithful. As smoke vanishes, so let them vanish, as wax melts before the fire. Come from that scene, O women birds of my tidings, and say to Zion, Receive from us the glad tidings of joy, of Christ's resurrection. Exalt and be glad. And rejoice, O Jerusalem, seeing Christ the King who comes forth from the tomb, like a bridegroom in procession. So the sinners will perish before the face of God, but let the righteous be glad. The murdering women at the break of dawn drew near to the tomb of the light giver. There they found an angel sitting upon the stone. He greeted them with these words, Why do you seek the living among the dead? Why do you mourn the incorruption and corruption? Go proclaim the glad tidings to his disciples. This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Pascha of beauty, the Pascha of the Lord, a Pascha worthy of honor has dawned for us. O oh, Pascha, let us embrace each other joyously. Pascha, ransom from affliction, for today has 
Solomon's porch was filled with the sick. In the middle of the peace, Christ called a man who had been paralyzed for 38 years. He shouted to him in a commanding voice, Do you want to be healed? The sick man replied, Lord, when the water is stirred, I have no man to lower me into the pool. The Lord said to him, Pick up your bed. Now that you are healed, see that you if you sin no more. Show to us your great mercy, O Lord. Through the praise of the Theotokos, now and ever and unto the ages of ages, amen. <laughs> this is the day of resurrection. Let us be illumined by the peace. Let us sing praise to each other. Let us call brothers, even those that hate us, and forgive all by the resurrection. And so let us cry, Christ is risen from the dead, grant thee now death by death, and upon us in the tombs be Yes, 
lost opportunities to shine in the light of Christ, lost opportunities to forgive, lost opportunities to do good, to give alms, to show kindness, to pray to God in prayer, be sorry for all these, resolve to be a better, more faithful, more zealous Christian. Concerning all these things, you are bound henceforth to take care, since according to the Christian mystery of repentance, you are to be baptized with a second baptism. In God helping you, you must make a good beginning and a new fresh start. And above all, you must not take these things lightly or return to the same things, lest you become a cause of scorn to men. For this is not becoming as Christians, but live honorably, righteously, and devoutly, and may God help you by his grace. Let us pray to the Lord. O Lord, have mercy. O Lord, God of the salvation of your servants, who are merciful, compassion, and long suffering, who repent concerning our evil deeds, who do not desire the death of sinners, but that they turn from their way and live. You yourself now be merciful to your servants, and grant them anew to repentance, pardon, and remission of sins, forgiving them every transgression, whether committed voluntarily or involuntarily. Reconcile and unite them to your holy church, through Jesus Christ our Lord with whom is due to you, power and majesty, now and ever, to the ages of ages. Amen. May our Lord and God, Jesus Christ, by the grace and compassion of his love for humankind, forgive you, my children, all your transgressions. And I, as an unworthy priest, who is power given to me, forgive you and absolve you from all your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let me just introduce to you Father Andrew. Father Andrew is the chancellor of our diocese, and he's here for a week for personal retreat. And also, we're just sharing thoughts about our diocese and our monastery and so on. And Father Andrew Yarmus um, is uh, from, from Indiana, from a parish of Fort Wayne, Indiana. And uh, he's come all this way to spend the week. He was actually here, I believe it was last year? Two years ago. Uh, two years ago. And uh, together with his, uh, his Matryoshka. And, um, but on that occasion, he was obligated to serve at the Bulgarian Orthodox Church Martinez, of which he is the administrator, and he felt an obligation to see it and to meet the people there. But this Sunday, tomorrow, he'll be serving with us, and I've asked him to give the homily, so I hope you all make him feel very welcome. So, Andrew, do you have anything to share about well, that? Well, thanks, well, thanks. I know that you can see tomorrow, but if you have a few words, maybe you can speak. Well, I'll we'll save it for tomorrow. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming tonight.